Hey, what's up guys, it's Terraformer here, and bringing you a game about birds. The Artifacts of Marvelous Birds by Exit Lee, and it's an interesting hack. I played through the first world, and good level design, good graphics, you know, um, the basic stuff you'd expect from a good hack. I found it on Super Mario World Central, and... Hey, this is the tree the bird was sitting on. His tribe seems to be in big trouble. I should hurry. So let's hurry up and save those birds. I actually had a bird when I was younger, and I like birds, I like animals in general, this is fertile land, and I currently have a dog, a hamster, I mean two hamsters, and a tank of fish. So that's just great. I like animals of all kinds. Um, this text box, I think it says reset, um, the reset pipes are marked. So that is, that's a good thing to put in your hack, basically. Because, like, I don't know, some hacks do it weirdly, but, I mean, it, you don't have to mark it sometimes. Sometimes it's just obvious if it's, like, the only pipe or something, but, um, I don't know, I, maybe I'm thinking of older, or, like, Kaizo-esque, not really Kaizo-esque, but, um, yeah, a friend of mine that was watching these videos, he was asking me if I would ever do Impossible Mario's, and he, the, the game he was referring to was, um, that Super Mario Brothers, um, the f Brothers, well, uh, the first one, um, this, like, one hack, and it's basically called that, um, that switch, yeah, it's a red herring. <laughs> well, for the secret exit, I mean, and I don't know, maybe it's not for you, but I thought it was the way to secret exit, but it's not, and we'll get that later. Uh, completely contradicting what I've said in previous videos, but I have a reason for that, and the reason I will get to later. But, yeah, my friend, uh, um, yeah, he was talking about the impossible Mario, and he, I think he kind of meant more of, like, or maybe he doesn't know, there's an entire, like, genre of it, basically, and that would be Kaizo Hex, and the answer is, well, <laughs> the answer is unless I get a lot more skilled, no, <laughs> no, I won't be doing it. Kaizo hacks. Hacks that are, uh, this piece which I don't know what that does. Let's see what that does. It just does this, and it tells you to go up there for 30 coins. I mean, 30 coins, whatever. <laughs> but, yeah, um, what the hell was I saying? Shit. Oh, they're, they're Kaizos, but, yeah, if, if I got so much drastically better, Kalado Corpse, the I could play them without save states, uh, try, uh, try to avoid save staying as much as you can. What are coins and bonus rooms and extra lives for? Oh, wow, we at the same time, but, um, yeah, if I, I mean, if I had save states, maybe, I don't know, but I just, I don't find them fun for what they are, basically, because I remember when Proton John, or not that I remember, but I remember someone talking about it. Possibly SSOH, but, um, yeah, he, um, basically when he played Kaizo Mario, um, or Asshole Mario, or the original that started the whole genre, basically, but, um, yeah, um, like, I think a bunch of Japanese players, or Let's Players, or something, I don't know, but they were kind of talking smack about him using and abusing well, yeah, you gotta really abuse save states in that game, uh, in those games, basically, unless you're very talented or very patient, and, um, yeah, they were, like, basically making fun of him because, um, he didn't use save states, and it's like, if those things are designed without save states in mind, then Good lord, uh, I mean, that's, it's kind of nuts, that, and if I was going to do something like that, well, my safe states don't work, basically, but, um, 
I I wouldn't want to use save states, I guess, and it would just be infuriating on my part. Lots of editing, and it probably wouldn't be fun for you guys either. So basically, yeah, that's my that's the long and short of it. And yeah, um, I don't know if I actually said this and explained this. I might. I might have. I'm not sure. I'm kind of tired from working overnight last night and then not getting a lot of sleep, and I don't even know if I said that yet, so... Basically, the reason I'm playing this is because it is a replacement for Super Mario Bros. 5 Reborn at the moment. Um, when I woke up today, I saw that SSOH, he had started the hack, so... Basically, um, he has way, 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 way more subs than me and viewers, so why not give it to him, see um, how, how that goes, and then after that, if I'm not doing anything, Coral Pond, if I'm not doing anything when he's done with that, or I may wait a little bit, I'm not sure yet, but then I'll go back to it, I don't know if I'm completely going to redo it or what I'm going to do, but um, the above path has some more foes in, in contrast to the below path. Also, more coins. It is up to you which path to choose. Uh, well, considering they're both not that much different, and you can see the other one basically, it really doesn't matter where you, where you head to, but um, yeah, I heard there was a newer version of the so scared of a fish. Um, I heard there was a newer version of the hack that uh, I'm not really concerned. I mean, if if it doesn't have uh, like other levels, I guess it would be. But I'm if I do decide to redo it, then I will be changing versions. <laughs> Attention! Feathers of uh, birds have been seen in a few areas. When used correctly, you can fly with them. They are very rare, though. So, probably won't be seeing them. I don't remember where they were located if I did. Okay, this HDMA, I believe it's called, this is really nice. And it doesn't affect the gameplay as much as some things, some graphics, or some whatever, um, but yeah, it's very nice, and please, please, somebody tell me what music this is, because it kind of, I don't know, I could be hearing things, but it kind of reminds me of House on the... Shit, now I can't even think of the name of the song, but it's a song from, I believe, the 60s, and uh, House of the Rising Sun, that's what it is, and I cannot think of who it's by at the moment, but I don't know why it reminds me of that, basically, but that's cool, I don't know, I guess that's what I'm hearing, I hear sometimes when I'm... Basically, doing something <laughs> that I might get to in a future video, but I don't really know if I should talk about it. I don't know, but um, basically, I hear connections between the music and maybe it's just a musician thing. So, forget what I just said, it's a musician thing. I can hear the connection between songs, mostly in video games, or well, you know, uh, when I'm, I hear a video game, I might relate it to like a song, like. I don't know, that a band did, I guess. I don't know. That's just me. And then, like, songs in between games, I hear the relationship. Number one, Wooden Floors. I am actually not doing that now. I am pretty damn tired, so I'm gonna go ahead and save at the yellow switch. <laughs> and that's what I'm going to do tonight. And, um, this, this game might have less, um levels per video? Possibly, I'm not sure, um, because from what I've played, it it's a little, little more, like, um, difficult than Super Mario Bros. 5, I don't know, um, later on Super Mario Bros. 5, there's a few things that trip me up, but, um, yeah, this hack, um, it was starting to progress faster, I guess you could say, about the curve. 
curvature of the... I don't need that. <laughs> no, the curvature of the difficulty is, um, yeah, a little more ramped up, and there's really nothing wrong with that because it's still done well, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was talking about Mario Gives Up, and I didn't really mention how much the game, how awesome the game is, basically. The game is very, it's a very nice and well-designed hack, like all Cyphermares hacks, or at least most, because there's this one that I saw, it was a bit glitched up, but, I don't know, Yellow Switch Palace, but it was probably one of his earlier works, so, but yeah, Cyphermare, great hacks, just, they are pretty difficult. I'd like to do, at some point, a safe stateless run of Meltdown. Um, one and two, probably meltdown in the Mushroom Kingdom. But I, you know, I get to, like the game starts out good with difficulty, and then you get to the first castle, and enemy placement is pretty dickish. And yeah, here's the yellow switch, and I'm in the middle of a story. Congratulations, yellow yellow blocks with a um, yeah explanation point on them are now revealed. They give you a mushroom, so yeah, that's just great, but like I was saying, um, Mario gives up, I don't actually remember what I was saying about it, so, um, yeah, I'll rewatch it, and then if it was something interesting, I will talk about it in the next video, I guess, so, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.